Viongozi wa dini katika kaunti ya Siaya wametoa wito kwa serikali kuzipa mamlaka mashirika ya kidini ya kitaifa ili kuwasimamia na kuadhibiti washirika wao katika jitihada za kudhibiti dini potovu. Viongozi hao wanasema mashirika ya kitaifa ya kidini kama vile baraza la kitaifa la makanisa NCCK, baraza kuu la Waislamu Subkem na muungano wa Kiinjilisti IEK yatafanya kazi hiyo ya udhibiti iwapo tu watapewa mamlaka na ripoti baadaye kuwasilishwa katika serikali ya kitaifa kadhalika viongozi hao wameitaka serikali kutoa dhulumu wa kuwa madhehebu mengine kutokana na yaliyojiri shakaula ya kaunti ya Kilifi ambapo zaidi ya miili moja ya waumini wa kanisa la Good News International Church wanaoaminika kufa njaa kutokana na mafundisho ya kasisi wao Paul McKenzie wafukliwa kufikia sasa we request our government to do open investigation and transparency that shall ensure religious leaders are not victimized. Mm -hmm. Not all religious leaders are rogue preachers mm -hmm. and when one is God doing or do a teaching which is not right, be it Quran or Bible, then that person should be dealt with as an individual. There are existing religious bodies like NCCK, like Evangelical Alliance of Kenya, we have Supkem, we have Namlef, that they need to strengthen these bodies to do proper uh, inspectorate <coughs> of the mosques and uh, churches to ensure that right doctrines are being taught and no one is getting misled that families would suffer death. So Haki Africa is very clear on this that first we have to thank the media for being the public watchdog and eye in exposing the rot uh, that has been happening uh, in the discourse of uh, religious preaching. And in the same breath, uh, we also want to say no to the government for coming up with, the, with baseless directives that are aimed to gag the media so that we, the public does not get to know exactly what is happening in the, the forest of uh, Kilifi.